So the title of this video is Beast Mode, right? So let me tell you how this whole like idea to make this for you came around. Got this thing, it's called the Kern Inner Circle. All right, let's make sure everything's showing. It is, okay. Got this thing, it's called the Kern Inner Circle. Every other Wednesday, I get on a live video conference with members, and it's cool, because they'll ask me questions, I'll look at their funnels, and they'll like, help them out, and it's really, really fun. And I had this dude on this week, and he had this funnel, and then here's how the funnel worked, all right? My man's funnel was, has Facebook ads and stuff, goes to an opt-in page, people opt in, he shows them three videos. At the end of every video, he offers a free consultation session. That's kind of the whole funnel. So people were opting in, they were watching the videos, it's pretty good. No one had booked the consult yet. Now it was only 185 people. And he was like, what should I do? And my answer was, dude, you need to go into beast mode. All right, so let me define what beast mode is. Beast mode within this marketing context is to always be taking forward action towards meeting your objective. And in this person's case, the objective was to get someone to schedule a call with him. So he'd done a pretty good job, and like in the week prior, he ran this, this campaign, got 100, uh, 185 opt-ins, automation worked and all that stuff, but nobody on the 185 person list booked a call. Not a big deal, that's not that many people. Of course, until you ever stand in front of a room of 125 people, and then you're like, dang, that's actually pretty good. But he didn't have any calls, right? Y'all can still hear me? Good, sweet. All right, so I was like, dude, you gotta go into beast mode. And what that means is you gotta be always promoting your stuff if the sales of your stuff is your primary objective, which of course for the sake of our conversation, let's just say that's your primary objective, right? So I'm talking to the guy and I'm like, okay, you ran the campaign, the automation worked, you did the three-part email sequence, and in his mind, he was like, well, it didn't work, right? Got people in, I sent them three emails and nobody, Nobody uh, registered for a consultation with me. What do I do? Now, it's easy for the brain to go like, well, that didn't work. But we need to look at things from a realistic perspective. And here's a realistic perspective. All right. It's 185 people. That's a lot of people if you're standing in front of them. But if you're sending them emails, that's not a lot of people because not everybody reads their email. All right. So I was like, dude, go into beast mode with those guys. He says, what do you mean? I said, look, email them every freaking day. Right? Send them like, go and look. If they didn't watch the video, send them the video they didn't see again. If they did watch the video, send them an email that says, hey man, do you need some help with that issue that you opted in about? I got some time this week. What do you think? And then start a dialogue with them. And then it got me thinking. I was like, okay, you know, we're all so dependent on email, thing number one, right? That we kind of overlook all of the other opportunities we have to really go into beast mode. So I'm not like saying, hey, you need to email your list 7,000 times a day. However, sometimes that's appropriate in the right situations. What I am saying is you need to take advantage of every single opportunity you've got every single day, all the time. So in the case of this dude, I was like, look, man, you got any Facebook followers? He's like, yeah, I got a couple. I said, dude, go live every single day. And then I started thinking about two things. Number one, everyone's way too dependent on email. Okay, it's a big deal. I know emails always worked. It's great, but here's the deal: email is a primary communication channel. All right, I, I, I want to really be clear about that. Primary marketing channel is dying. Does it mean it's going to go away? No. It just means that it's not working as good as it used to, and it's going to keep not working as good as it used to. Again, note the word primary there. All right, so please don't take that out of context. And I tell you, email's dead. It's just not working as well as it was anymore. So that's, that's, um, that's bad. Okay, that's what that is. It's bad. Um, because, you know, it sucks. It was pretty fun back in the day when you can just send an email and a whole bunch of money would come in. And to a degree, you can. But anybody out there watching this has got a list and has had one for a couple of years. You look at this month's open and click-through rates compared to the same time last year, compared to the year before that, it's been doing this right here. So going down in, in, in you know, efficacy. Love that word, sounds so legitimate, okay? So that's a problem, but hey, on the flip side, we've been gifted all these other channels, right? And here are the other channels that are working really, really well. Facebook, obviously. Not just the ads, but the ability to go live. Like I'm, this is a live video right now, if you happen to be watching it live, and <laughs> suffered through the lack of audio in the beginning. We've got podcasting. We've got Instagram, which within Instagram, you have Instagram Live, IGTV, and the regular old Instagram. Right, and then there was another one that I forgot. What did we say? Oh, YouTube, right? And so after I had that conversation with that guy, I was like, you know, I wonder what would happen if I went full beast mode to promote my book on 
other networks besides email. So here's what I did. I created the domain frankkernbook.com. You should see it on your screen here. I'll move. Yeah, there you go. It's shown against my shirt there. Very subtle plug. That sells my book, Convert 2.0. How to Create Internet Campaigns That Sell. If you don't have the book, get the book. It's only $5.60. If you don't like it, they'll give you your $5.60 back. You keep the book anyway. You can print it out and re-gift it to somebody. You know, do whatever you want to with it. Chances are you're really going to like it, though. All right, so that domain, frankkernbook.com, the only way people hear about that is through one of these other traffic sources, a YouTube video where I mention it, a Facebook Live where I mention it, or an Instagram post where I mention it. And interestingly enough, I haven't been using this in Instagram stories, just Instagram posts like with a little picture and some text on there. So YouTube video, Instagram post, Facebook Live, all right, and podcasts. So when I made the decision to like, hey, let's see what happens if you go beast mode with stuff that it's not email, I also called Paul Culligan, my podcast guy, great podcast manager, by the way, if you need one. And I said, hey, dude, I'm going to film my little 30-second commercial for frankkernbook.com, and I want to put it in the front, in the middle, and in the back of every podcast I've ever done, ever. And he's like, okay, that's actually pretty easy. And so he handles it, and that's, that went live yesterday. So what I want to do with you now is I want to show you the behind-the-scenes effect of all of this. All right? So... Hopefully, wish me luck on this. I'm going to try to switch from this camera view to my computer camera view and not blow up the audio. Oh, let's see. I almost screwed it up. Hang on. Hang on. I know you're watching me try to slip. I almost made the same mistake I did before. Cool. Okay. So now this should switch. Bing. Oh, wait. No. Oh, wrong one. Now this, <laughs> hang on. This should switch. Uh, cue sound effects again. Bing. Okay, there we go. So now you should be seeing my screen. Let me know if anything's done blowed up on the screen. I will get rid of this uh, little thing here. Did that work? Great. Okay, so you should see my screen. All right, now what you see here is um, this is my browser, obviously. So I've got three funnels that sell the book. Everything about the funnels are all 100% identical. Same sales page, same upsell, same emails, everything. Only reason I have three of them is so I can track literally like, precisely what happens from every individual traffic source and every individual campaign. Yes, I am OCD about that. No, I am not sorry. Okay, so here they are. This one is my organic book funnel. Okay, so this is like just me talking about frankkernbook.com, which incidentally, yes, I am shamelessly plugging that. You should go there and get a copy of the book because it's really good. Look at this. This is today. I'm doing this for you right now, December 7th. It's 4 o'clock my time. A little give or take. This is my watch is never 100% accurate. Okay, so this is what we've done today from me mentioning the book. I started mentioning the book on social somewhere around Saturday. Okay. So let's look what's happened like since uh, Saturday over here. Now, boom. So it's done 8,800 bucks in sales. That's 135 bucks and all of these little upsells and stuff, which is pretty sweet, right? Now let me show you what I've done. So I asked Paul. I said, "Hey Paul, please put a uh, put the commercial on the front of the uh, podcast and anywhere else in the podcast you could, right? So it's like a little 30 second spot. I just kind of I recorded on my phone, you know, nothing great, no sound effects. All right. And here's what else I did. Now, this is what I really want you to pay attention to. So it's on the podcast and um, uh, the podcast is like fair. Okay. So let me show you my podcast stats really just to take you behind the scenes. I hope this doesn't bore you. I just want to uh, really let you see what stuff looks like because I don't think folks really ever get a good behind the scenes view of like what's really going on a lot of time. So why not? I would want to see this, uh, you know, okay, hang on. I'm, I'm on my other monitor getting, um, pulling up, uh, what do you call it? Libsyn, my, um, podcast stuff. However, I am clearly not pressing the right buttons. Okay. Let's see. So hang on. All right, so you should see that on your screen there as well. And something, something, something. One is the video version, and one of these is the, um, here, let's look at stats. One of them is the audio version. Okay, so this is audio version. 
I think, right here. All right. So as you can see, my podcast is like nothing crazy, right? If you look all the way over here, if you're watching this on Facebook Live right now on your phone, I apologize. It's a small screen. What I'm trying to show you is each episode is getting, you know, about um, 2,000 or so downloads within the first like seven days or whatever. Uh, then, you know, the day it comes out, like this one right here just came out two days ago it's had 1400 downloads the one that came out on december 1st is 1700 downloads the one that came out like a week ago or whatever or two weeks ago is 2600 downloads so you know round up around 2600 downloads or so every couple weeks all right so nothing huge right i don't have like this giant podcast with 8 billion subscribers or anything now look at this number okay so all i did a couple days ago whoop, song funnel there we go this is my organic one this is frank kernbook.com sell exact same funnels as I'm about to show you for the other ones is just the only way people can end up giving me this money is if they hear the podcast ad they see me make a uh, Facebook live video like this or they see an Instagram post all right so on Facebook I've done I think three lives now where I mentioned the book I did one earlier I forgot to mention the book like a dummy I've got the podcast things and then I've been using Instagram all right on Instagram this is exactly how many posts I've made all right one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Five Instagram posts. Now, to give you an idea of how completely low tech they are, it's just a picture of the damn book. And then I say, get the new Convert 2.0 book at frankkernbook.com. That's it. Right? Now, here's my Instagram stats. I have 27,300 followers. I don't know what I'm doing on Instagram. You know, I just like post stuff and people follow me or whatever. I'm not an expert in that. I've also made a couple of YouTube videos just in the past couple of days. I mentioned the book on this one. This was 24 hours ago. Um, this is, again, I was demonstrating my incredible ineptitude on uh, how to use this multicasting stuff. Did this one yesterday. Did this one. I actually had to upload this one. I shot this one yesterday as well. So nothing, right? You got 464, 222, 184 views. So all that stuff, I've been kind of, this is not even a real beast mode, by the way, but it's still generated $8,870 in sales. All right. So hang on a minute. Let me come back to you. Get this. Bring me back on. Okay. So you should see me now. All right. So the reason I'm showing you all of that is to tell you, hey man, look, it's not just email. That's thing number one. Thing number two, I was freaking wrong. I've always been like, ah, eh, you know, posting stuff on social media is dumb. It's a waste of time. Advertising is the smartest thing ever. You should only advertise. Advertising is the way to go. All these guys that waste time posting on social media, they're stupid. Um, I was wrong. First time in history. <laughs> All right, maybe it's the nine millionth time in history. Totally wrong. But with a caveat, all right? With a caveat, I was kind of wrong. You see, you don't want to just rely on organic traffic. What you want to do is you want to use organic traffic, like what I'm telling you, right? Like broadcasting, broadcasting, broadcasting on YouTube, broadcasting on Facebook, taking that audio from your Facebook broadcast, turn them into a podcast. That's all I do, man. I'm not in a recording studio making podcasts. I'm going to take this audio you're listening to right now. I'm going to turn it into a podcast. People will listen to it or they won't. You know, some of them will like it. Some of them will be like, I don't like that when they listen to the next one. All right. That's all I'm doing. But going that hardcore is a good idea. But what makes the whole thing kick off and, and makes it in like, what's the word, exponentially better is to layer it with advertising. So let me show you something. Okay. First of all, let's just see if we can have a little fun there. Wow. What do you know? Put my little thing back on there. Hot diggity. Okay. So now I'll take it off. Maybe. Was that going to get off of there? Come on, get off of there. Okay. I think it's off. And okay. We should be here. Okay. So we should be back to the screen share. All right. So I just said, you know, that I was wrong about like posting organically and stuff. I was. Uh, to a degree, so I would admit being partially wrong about that. You shouldn't depend on it just like you shouldn't depend on email, but you should use it synergistically with advertising. So I had that revelation in July of this year. I created a strategy called intent-based branding. I talk about it in the beginning of the Convert 2.0 book, which you can get at frankkernbook.com. Was that like the fifth plug in a row? Right. So between uh, July, did I say January? I meant July. Between July of this year and today, I've been going live a lot. I've been posting a lot of free content on social, and I've been driving traffic to that content. All right. Now, let me show you something. 
we t we're running Facebook ads for this book funnel, all right? And we have two different categories of campaign going. They're both going to the same offer, which is get my book, all right? But offer or campaign number one is going to people who've been watching those videos, okay? This is this money right here. Campaign number two just started a couple hours ago, and that's going to people who have never heard of me. Now, let me show you something, all right? Come on over here, we're gonna come into my Facebook ads manager. All right, and this, let's see. One, two, three, four. All right, these campaigns, these are all being shown to people who have been watching my content that I've just been pummeling the internet with for however many months it's been since July. So here's today's numbers, all right? On that campaign, let me hit refresh here to give you a, a really a better Hopefully this is useful to y'all. It might be a little boring and techy, but I'm a numbers guy. Um, I like seeing the real thing. Yeah, is that today? Today's the seventh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've spent nine hundred fourteen dollars and thirty cents. Here's what it's made: three thousand twenty dollars so far. Actually, let's hit refresh and see if it's made any more money. The more times you hit refresh, the more money you get. So they say, "Oh, look at there! Good lord! I need to hit refresh more often." How do you like them apples? All right. So that's pretty good. Exact same stuff that's being sold here. This is organic. All I'm doing, the only reason I have these multiple funnels is I want to accurately track what is bringing in revenue. So this, I've been like going, you know, moderate beast mode. I could do a lot better of like going live and I'm going to be doing it in the future because it's been validated here. But this is a couple days worth of beast mode, right? So that's 8,800 bucks. This is like just today on ads. So I spent 900, I got 3,500 back plus this is two. Uh, this is a two payments of ninety-seven. So thirty days from now, I'll get that amount of money again. So this is really about four grand in sales if you count those receivables. Now, the other type of campaign that we're running on Facebook is we're showing ads to people who have never heard of me. These are complete strangers. I call these cold. All right. So this just started today. Okay. So this is brand new, and I want to show you the difference. All right. So I'm going to show you the ad sets for these. We'll get the numbers behind them. We'll hit refresh, see what we've done spent. Okay, 7,000 years later because we're on camera. And, all right, so we spent 335 bucks today so far on these ads. All right, and that's going to this funnel. This is uh, Facebook Cold is the name of this one. I'll hit refresh and see if we got any loving. And we got a little bit, 11, which is fantastic. So I spent 300 something to complete strangers. All right, and made 443, so that's a pretty good return on investment. Plus I have $97 in receivables here. I'll take that, better than a poke in the eye. And in this one I spent $900, made $3,500. Now notice something, oh, by the way, just so you know, this isn't a fluke. We've been running this one, this ad since, I think it was the Saturday, actually the 28th right there. So just to kind of give you an idea, we're not messing around or anything. I'm not just showing you fluky numbers. Yeah, so this is all of our, uh, just from that one Facebook campaign. This is a fairly new campaign. The reason, by the way, we're getting that, oh, and just to kind of further, in case anyone thinks I'm trying to be like a typical internet marketer and only show you like the one day that the stuff worked or whatever. I get it, by the way. I totally understand the skepticism. I'm cool, man. I'm not insulted. Um, let me show you. The total spend, well, look, I'll just say uh, lifetime for that campaign. Is this a new campaign? Yeah, so we spent only 9,600 bucks in the campaign, but it has brought in 36,000 bucks. So it's working, right? But now, hang on, let me come back to me if possible. All this stuff is easier said than done. I'm trying to run this stuff at the same time. All right, let's see if this thing will work too. Okay, hopefully you can still hear me. All right, cool. Um, the reason, why these funnels are all working and the reason you'll notice that two things are happening number one i'm getting a freakishly high return on my time invested in beast mode in terms of organic traffic like making these instagram posts making facebook live posts putting the ads in the podcast and all that i mean it sold eight thousand dollars worth of stuff in a couple of days it's a freaking five dollar and sixty cent book my followings aren't that big it's a really really good return the reason that's working is because since july I've been just pummeling content to the market. Actually, pummeling, that's bullshit. I haven't been pummeling. I've been doing a terrible job of it. I've been doing enough of it, at least, that it's helped. I should be doing and will be doing about 10 times more. So that's why 
today I'm able to reap those benefits because I started going into like baby beast mode in the summer with trying to get on all platforms, trying to get in front of people, trying to build that goodwill and ab- advancing towards the objective. Now, the reason that Facebook campaign that I showed you that's getting such an incredible return on every dollar spent is working so well because it's being shown only to the people that have been consuming that content since July. That's a retargeting audience of about a million people, by the way. So that's pretty good, right? By the way, my list, my email list, I haven't even shown you stats from the email list. I'm just trying to show you stuff that's on other channels, right? So that's pretty good. That that retargeting list is a million people strong. My email list is like 70-something thousand people. I call out the ones that don't click and don't open uh, because what's the point of having them, right? So it's not even that big. And the new campaign that I just showed you, the Facebook cold, that's total strangers. Notice the difference. The total strangers, I'm not making that big of an ROI with those guys. In fact, look, this is a fluke, right? Like, there's no way. I mean, I, I believe it, but I got lucky today. I, what, I spent 300 something dollars. I've made 443. It's really unusual to have an average cart value of $110 in a book funnel. Like, I just got lucky, and, you know, I've only sold four books so far, and somebody immediately bought the upsell and bought the other upsell. Like that's kind of a fluke right there, right? So this shouldn't even be profitable yet. Here's my point. Always be taking action to advance the position, all right? If the objective you're trying to meet is to sell more stuff, promote everywhere you can. Promote on social, promote on Facebook, promote on YouTube, create a podcast, it's not hard. Take the lives that you do on Facebook, Rip the audio out of them, stick them on the uh, on the uh, whatever you call it there, the iTunes, and now you got yourself a podcast. That's what I got. You know, I mean, go listen to mine. It's good. I'm proud of it, but I ain't in a studio. I'm not like, well, it's Monday, it's podcast day. What are we gonna talk about today? Let's get the notebook out and the producers and stand around and have some coffee, have some lattes. Honey, bring us a latte. I want mine with soy. That's not happening. All right, we're just going, going, beast mode. And incidentally, what you've seen from me, it ain't beast mode. It ain't nothing. But it's better than sitting around and going, well, I got 185 opt-ins and they got three emails and no one did anything. I guess I should just give up. Hell no. Man, if you got 10 people, get your stuff in front of those 10 people all the time. And then get another person and another person and grow your following, grow your list and always be adding value and always be making offers and always be promoting. And you'll be good. Okay. Uh, Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. I think I'll roll up out of here in a minute. It's getting hot. In my office, let's see if I can see you. I've lost my browser window somehow. All right, let's see. Y'all are still here on Facebook. You are. All right, good. Thank you all so much. I'll see you later. Nice to see you, um, uh, Corman. Good to see you, man. I see Kevin Madison. What's happening, my man? All right. Thank you guys who joined me earlier and watched for freaking 10 minutes or however long it was before I realized the audio wasn't working. That's fantastic. If you want to learn how to create internet campaigns that sell, Go to frankkernbook.com. Get the book. I will not let you down in that regard. And if you think I have, I'll give you back your whopping $5.60. You can have the book anyway. Give it to someone you don't like for Christmas. Make it like a passive-aggressive gesture. I was talking about that the other day. Like someone that you don't much care for, but you don't want to let them know that they need to get it together. That's when you would give them a book like that. You'd be like, hey, I've been seeing your marketing, and I think you might benefit from this book. It's called How to Create Campaigns That Sell. I got it for you. You know, and that's kind of like when you're a little well-fed like I am, and someone gives you a book about, like, fitness. Like, I got this book for you called How to Work Out Less and, or Work Out More and Eat Less. I think you might enjoy it. Uh, it could be one of those things for you. You know, if you don't like the book, you just give it to someone who you kind of want to tell them to get it together. Regardless, go get the book, frankcarnbook.com. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. I am going to get up out of here as soon as I can figure out how to turn off Wirecast. And I think we're about to turn it off officially. Maybe. Stop all. There we go. Okay.